Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Ivory Tower video series. Since we're here in Korea, and Korea is filled with museums, why not do some videos exploring the great museums of Korea? Um, so today, uh, for our maiden run, haha, we are here at the Samchuk Penis Park. Yes, those aren't totem poles. Those are penises. So let's explore together and find a little bit more out about this great cultural institution that is the Penis Park. Away! So the myth of the penis park is as follows, and it involves this sea over here. Panning, panning, look at the beautiful sea. Well, the myth has it that one day a beautiful young maiden, because it always involves a beautiful young maiden, was getting ready to be married to a handsome, bedeviling young man. He was a fisherman. And then one day, when he was fishing, he drowned, tragically, before their wedding night. And she never had the chance to experience the joy of wedded union. The penis, to be quite frank. And because of that, she was so distraught, I guess she couldn't remarry, um, that she threw herself into that very sea, that gorgeous sea, and died, drowned. But that's not the end of the story, because if it were, there would be no penis park. The legend says that her ghost haunted the area and drove away all the fish, ruining the local trade, which was, which was fishing. Until one day, a drunk fisherman stumbled up to the, the ocean, unzipped his pants, and let loose a torrent uh, of urine. And his member was so impressive that the spirit of the woman saw it and just became enamored, rem reminding her of her lost love and the fact that she lost the chance to experience sexual union. Being reminded of all this, she brought the fish back, and the locals realized that. So, to appease the spirit, they constructed this penis park and filled it with as many rigid, beautiful phalluses as they could find. So that's why we're in a penis park right now. So I know what you must be asking yourself by now. Is this place just a joke? Just a place to go and snicker at some penises? Well, no, actually. In addition to having cultural significance for the area, because it is really one of Samchuk's most well-known attractions, uh, between the caves and the penis park, that's really what Sam Chuck's known for. Um, but in addition to being filled with penises, this park is absolutely stunning. It's located right along the coast of, of Sam Chuck and features just absolutely beautiful Korean countryside. If we can just pan and take a quick look at some of the gardens around here, this is really a gem. It, it is a world-class park. Even without penises, it's somewhere that I would happily come back to and recommend to others. Oh, 
보이는 여자 난 그런 여자가 좋더라 너와 람이 So now I'm going to show you a Korean tradition. I believe it's Confucius, and it involves rocks. Uh, part of the Confucius tradition is that if you place a rock at a sacred place, like we're at right now, on a pile of other rocks, you can have a wish come true. They end up looking somewhat like the, the First Nations Canadian uh, Inukshuks. Inukshuks? Inukshuks. Let's go with it. I'll fact check that. And, make a note if I just screwed it up, because I think I did. Um, so here we are with a bunch of rocks, and I have one right here, and we are going to add to it. I'm liking the look of this, and this is live. So if I screw it up, it's it's all gone pear shape. Hands like a surgeon. Oh God. Oh God. Don't mess up everyone else's wishes. Oh God. Wait. All right. We're gonna, that wish is not feasible. This wish seems more realistic. <laughs> and just like that, I have made a wish. I hope it comes true. I won't tell you what. Good. Now I know what you're thinking. Ryan, I love people. I also love nature, so sign me up. Let's go to Samchuk, let's go to Korea, let's visit the penis park. Well, let's hold on for a second, because a good question you might want to ask yourself is, how much Korean do I know? Because if you're a visitor who does not speak Korean, unfortunately this park is not very well suited with other language options. In fact, so far I've seen only Korean, which is pretty unusual for Korean parks and museums. Normally they're pretty good about Korean and English. Let's use this house as an example. It's, it's gorgeous. It's clearly a, an historic house. It could be a reproduction. It could be an original. I don't know, unfortunately, because all of the signage is in Korean. Uh, so that is a bit of a drawback about this park, the fact that it can be a little difficult to figure out what's going on because it is so beautiful that I'd really like to know more. Um, now let's take a little tour of the house. So something that might surprise you is how many families come to the penis park. Um, you'd think that this might be an adult location, something maybe boyfriends and girlfriends would go to, but, but really I've seen as many if not more children here than I have couples. So while there are adult rated penis parks in Korea, the one on uh, the famous Jeju Island is a great example, where I believe you can't be under 19 if you want to visit, uh, this penis park is family friendly. So a little warning to potential penis park goers, um, you are just as likely to be stared at yourself as the penises are. Um, Koreans have a certain fascination with, with foreigners, or Weigugan, as they're called in Korean. And uh, actually, just a few minutes ago, you missed a rather sweet older woman 
asking me if I thought the penises were very nice and laughing quite heartily at my expense. Um, so yeah, you may be as much of an attraction as the giant penis, so there's not often in your life that, that you can compete with the giant penis, so take that into consideration if visiting the penis park. A lot of dicks. <laughs> So, what if you're thinking, Ryan, you know, I don't like penises that much. Am I going to be bored at the park if, if I'm just, penises aren't my thing? <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Not everyone is quite as interested in penises as this park requires. But even if you hate penises, even if they're one of your least favorite things, you can still appreciate just the natural beauty of this area. From the gorgeous Korean coastline, to the beautiful gardens, this place is well worth a visit. So here we have who I can only assume is the fisherman who was peeing in the ocean. Having seen the beautiful sea nymph over this way, who is actually, if you look very carefully, out on a rock over there, calling to her, asking for the fish to come back. Because in this area, fishing was livelihood. If people did not have fish, they did not have food, they did not have an income. Fishing is extremely important. Uh, as I will demonstrate next when I show you briefly the Samchuk Fishing and Culture Museum. So we're going to end today's tour with a promise. Uh, the park also contains the Samchuk Fishing Village Folk Museum. Because fishing is such an important part of the Samchuk community. And I, the promise is that we will be back to do another Ivory Tower video exploring the Samchuk Fishing and Folk Museum. So thank you very much for joining us on our maiden run. Ironic, given the circumstances. Um, so, since this is our, our maiden run, please excuse any little hiccups. This will be our first time shooting and editing one of these. I aim to get at least one of these videos done a month exploring the museums of Korea. So please keep checking www.ivorytower.com for more videos. Thank you very much.